Welcome back to another episode of Jibber Jab Reviews. In today's show, I unbox the brand new Samsung smartwatch in the Gear series called the Gear Sport. I also compare it to the current S3 in terms of size, and I'm going to show you how it looks on a woman's wrist, as I think it's going to appeal to a lot of women out there for a couple reasons. Okay, let's go start the review. All right, now the first thing you may notice, especially if you are a current S3 owner, is that they changed up the packaging for the Sport and went with a square box as opposed to the circular box for the S3, which I really thought was rather nice. Anyways, it is only a box, so it's not really that important, but I did like how they put the extra cushion protector on the inside of the lid to protect the face during shipping, which was especially important for me as I did order it online through Best Buy and I did have it delivered by mail. Now in terms of the content that's in the box, it's very similar to the S3 in that you get the device, charging dock, cable, as well as a travel adapter, except you get one extra piece, which is an extra silicon strap, which I'll show you in about a minute. Now as far as the look goes, it is rather unique in that it has a squarish exterior with the rounded bezel in the center. Now I'm not a huge fan of square looking cases, in other words, I'm not a fan of the look of the Apple Watch. But the Gear Sport does have the rounded corners and really the bezel is still the centerpiece, so it is growing on me. Of course, one thing you will notice right away is the size difference, both in terms of diameter and thickness compared to the S3, and I'm going to give you a close-up of both of them later on. Going back to the Gear Sport though, you'll notice the band is also thinner. It has a 20mm strap compared to the S3's 22mm band, which is a bit unfortunate given that I already purchased several bands for my S3, but the masses seem to be calling for a smaller smartwatch, so this is the result. And remember, this is a sports geared watch, so having something smaller, thinner, and lighter is what Samsung was going for. It just makes more sense for those working out, whether it be running or swimming, which has been the sports activity Samsung was always highlighting during the launch about a month ago. I also found the included rubber strap to be soft and comfortable, and it's appropriate for the kinds of physical activity the Gear Sport was designed for. Okay, as I mentioned off the top, the Gear Sport actually comes with two watch bands, a longer one and a shorter version. I initially used the larger band to start, but I found that I could actually use the smaller band without any discomfort. But then again, my wrist isn't overly large, although I'm not quite ready to call it dainty. Anyways, my point is that whatever size of wrist you have, you will be well covered by either one of the two bands included. Okay, and now for the side-by-side -side comparison. As I said, you can see the obvious size differences between the Sport and the S3. However, don't let the Gear Sport size fool you, it's still a pretty chunky smartwatch, it's just less so than the S3. Now in terms of looks, well I think that's pretty subjective, but I certainly don't think it's an ugly watch, although it doesn't really have a wow factor to it either. In other words, I really liked the look of the S3 when I unboxed it, whereas the Gear Sport didn't give me the same kind of reaction. Again, it's not horrible, but it doesn't have a wow factor to it either. Now, going back to the size, especially regarding the extra shorter strap, I think Samsung also designed the Gear Sport with women in mind. The smaller strap is obviously meant for people with smaller wrists, which also generally tends to be women. And the toned down look and style of the bezel certainly would appeal more to women than the more bulky and manly looking S3. To give you an idea of what it looks like on a woman's wrist, I had my wife help me out by wearing it with the smaller strap. Thankfully, one thing that hasn't changed is the charging dock. You can still charge either your S3 or your Gear Sport on the same dock, which is great because now I keep one dock at work and the other one at home. In terms of battery life, it's quite comparable to the S3 in that it easily lasted me a full day and that was pretty much with all the features enabled. If you use it just as a watch though and turn off the other power eating features like the continuously tracking heart rate monitor, then it actually lasted me two days before needing a recharge. One thing I will say about the Gear Sport and something I noticed immediately is that the display is vibrant and enjoyable to look at. It's also very easy to navigate through all the different screens and in my opinion the interface is still the easiest to use of any smartwatch.
Now in terms of exercises, the list available is actually identical to the S3, except for one, and that of course has been swimming. The Gear Sport has an impressive water resistance rating which enables it to be submerged in up to 50 meters, so that definitely makes it swim ready. And you can even sync it with Speedo On, which is Speedo's new swim tracking app. In addition, there's also a water lock mode in your settings area under the device section, or you can also find it by swiping down on the status panel from the top of the watch face. This setting disables the touchscreen and the wake up feature, so you don't activate it accidentally by touching it or while you're chopping through those waves. Okay, and the last part I want to show you guys for now is of course the watch face area. The Gear Sport comes preloaded with 13 different watch faces that vary from artistic to sporty and in analog, digital and hybrid variations. In fact, 11 out of the 13 also give you some level of customization, such as changing the color, font or even the display features you want to see. Again, the vast majority though are all focused around providing you with fitness tracking information. Another cool feature is the ability to change the view of your watch faces so that instead of cycling through one at a time, which can become quite tedious when you have a lot of watch faces to choose from, is you now can see many at a time and all you have to do is to quickly turn the bezel while in the watch face selection mode. One quick turn switches to a four watch face view and another quick view enables you to view up to seven watch faces at a time. Again, this is a really cool and useful feature to help you quickly cycle through and select the watch face you want to wear. Okay guys, those are my first impressions of the Gear Sport for now. I'll be providing more information and updates over the coming weeks, including a special segment on watch faces, so stay tuned for that. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.